All right, hello everyone. Uh, this is going to be the lecture for section 3.7, the derivatives of inverse functions, in particular, inverse trigonometric functions. So uh, first of all, I have to apologize that this late, uh, video is coming out a little late. Uh, after recording it and checking it over, the audio for it got horrible. So I'm deciding to just redo it. Uh, so it's halfway through the day this thing is supposed to be due. Uh, thankfully though, it's a short section. Uh, let's just go ahead, right, get right to it. Um, for this section, we're going to be concentrating on specifically inverse functions, okay, inverse trig functions, okay. <clears throat> um, so in in chapters three one, uh, section three one, three two, three three, three four, three five, three six, we're just building up more and more uh, techniques for us to take a derivative. We're just going to stack one on top of it, uh, the inverse of trig functions, okay. So all of these. Uh, are, these are just ones that you have to sort of, I don't want to say memorize, let's just know that they exist. Um, those are the three sort of major ones, sine, uh, sine inverse, cosine inverse, tangent inverse, and then the other three, uh, the inverse ones, the cosecant, secant, and cotangent. Just need to memorize that these are, or remember that these are here, okay? Um, one thing that I do see a lot of students uh, messing up on in terms of how to compute uh, the derivatives of inverse trig stuff is uh, how you treat the variable. So I like to do this. Uh, let me thicken that up a little bit. I like to do this. So think of the x as the placeholder, <clears throat> right? Whatever is in that parentheses right, gets to swap out wherever you see an X, okay? Just like that, okay? Um, so usually what messes up uh, when students do uh, derivatives with um, inverse trig functions is they don't completely pay attention to that placeholder idea, okay? So just make sure you uh, get a good handle on it when you do it, okay? Uh, to sort of provide sort of an example of what I'm talking about, I'm going to go ahead and do the next example that's down below. Okay, so this is a um, <clears throat> this is a quotient, and it's got a sine inverse on top of three x. Okay, uh, so what I'm going to have to do here, right, is I'm going to have to have that three x plug in everywhere where there's a, the x in the sine inverse rule, right? Okay, since this is a quotient, we're going to go ahead and start with that. So this is going to be a high divided by a low, right? So if my high is a sine inverse of 3x, then the derivative of the high is going to be, we get to follow the rule. So keep in mind, I want to do the sort of like the placeholder idea, right? So notice this is a chain rule. The outside is sine inverse, the inside function is the three X, okay? So my derivative for this portion is one over one plus three X quantity squared, and that all has to be inside of a square root, right? Times the derivative of the inside, which will just be three, okay? My low is just x, right? So then my low prime is equal to one, okay? So therefore, f prime of x is going to be, if you guys remember the, the derivative for a quotient rule, right? It's low times d high minus high times d low all over low squared. So I get to just fill in the rest here. So it's gonna be low, so x times d high. Let me move this down a little bit. So f prime of x is gonna be the low x times d high, that big mess right there. So times a uh, three over the square root of one plus three x squared minus high sine inverse of three X times D low, which is one, all over the bottom squared. So the bottom is X squared. 
and we are done. So notice how simple that is, okay? So from here, uh, all I've got is uh, a couple of quick checks for you guys to try, okay? And then it's lecture question. So like I said, this, this section, very short section. It's just practicing how to take the, um, uh, the derivative of sine inverse, cosine inverse tangent, the inverse trig functions. That's it, okay? Um, if you guys have any questions on this material, uh, let me know uh, through email. You can always visit me in my, um, uh, in my uh, drop-in times, Monday through Thursday from three to six. And uh, we can make an appointment outside of that if you need a little bit more help, okay? Uh, besides that, I'll see you guys around.